Hello guys, today we are going to see how we can print multiple charts in loop and we are going to see the Google charts. So here we have a chart and you can see the data is 23% here and then we have 14% and then 20%. So this is all coming dynamically. I have an array of arrays and I'm just looping through and printing this data. So I also have this post that you can access. The link is in the description. So you can read and copy the code. Everything is written in this post. So uh, let's begin and let's uh, do this. So first of all, I'm going to show you how to print the chart uh, here in the, I have a view, uh, welcome view. Uh, this is just a brand new project here. And here in the welcome.blade, I'm just adding this text. And here we are going to add our content. So first thing first, we need to add the Google CDN. So once we have the CDN, then we will have all the necessary files. So here, loader.js from gstatic.com. So this CDN I included. Now here uh, in the script tag, we are going to add the code. So I have an array of data that I'm going to show, uh, going to display here. So here is the Google chart. Uh, functions these are the functions required now we are passing draw chart you can see here and we need to define this function uh, now so function draw a chart and inside it we need to define all the data and the required parameters so I said for data google dot visualization Now this is a Google function, so uh, we just need to type it the same way. And here inside it, we can pass the data. So here, what I'm going to say, so here is the array. So the I have a data in the day and income based. So the first term, uh, you can see the first value is day and income. Then we have the it's a string and numbers and we can pass the options as well so I'm passing title and uh, we can also pass the width as well as the height in the same uh, options it needs to be under quotes so it should be width by 50 height 400 Now we have the this div of ID pi chart. Now we are going to append uh, the chart here. So we need to bind this ID to the Google chart so that we can display there. So we say var chart is equal to new Google dot visualization then dot pi chart. Here you can define if you want any other chart instead of pi or bar chart we need pie chart so we are going to do this now inside it we need to document dot element by id and we are going to pass the id in here so i'm going to copy this i'm going to paste in here so once we have a single chart we will see how to put I print multiple charts so here chart dot draw and inside it we need to pass both variables the data variable that we defined as well as the options so we have both the variables now now refresh now you can see we have our chart working so this is how you print a single chart so yeah you can see match the data the friday 8 90 and 23 26 percent it's just showing it as it should, totally fine. So now let's uh, do this. We need to show multiple uh, charts. So we need to use uh, 
different code so I'm going to delete this and let me correct the spacing here now the CDN is still there and I'm going to use this these arrays so I have week one week two and I'm passing these arrays in weeks data array you can see here then I have a single array which is having three arrays in it so this is how if you have data that is coming from database or any other source you need to define it something like this so that uh, Google can understand and can print it so we have it here now let's see how we can do that because we need to loop through the weeks data variable that we are creating here and uh, that's going to uh, print the charts for us so I'm finding a for loop here let r is equal to 0 r is going to be less than the length of weeks data because we have 3 in it so it's going to be uh, less than 3 so it's 0 1 2 that's how for loop works and r increases each time so inside this uh, the complete code going to, uh, code going to be executed so that we have multiple uh, charts now we have pie chart id here so i need to append the divs on this pie chart div so that because each div is going to have a unique chart on it so when the loop runs what I want I want to append a div each time to that pie chart so I say pie chart dot append and I'm going to pass a div in it and we are going to pass uh, give it a unique ID so I'm going to pass R in the ID so that each time ID um, going to be unique otherwise it's going to be the same and we can't have same ID on the uh, page and uh, we need to pass the R here because we are inside a loop so to do that we need to put here uh, quotes and then R now that's it it's going to uh, append the div for us and we can append the chart on that particular each div now Google dot visual uh, sorry charts dot load now here current and now we're going to set a function it's going to be a callback function so I'm going to define it here So I'm going to say variable data. Now it's going to be new Google dot visualization, and uh, now we need to add the columns. So the column is going to be the first we are passing string as days. So we are going to say here uh, string. Second, you can give the name. Let's you can give any name. I say topping, just for example. Uh, doesn't matter really, um, but uh, you can. So another column is going to be the number because the second value we are passing is the a number. So I say slices. That depends on the data what you want really. So we need to add rows here. Add rows basically going to be the data that uh, we want to print and chart. So we need to pass the array. So we have weeks data. Now I'm going to copy and paste it here. And each time when loop runs, we need to pass R with it so that it is going to get the first value, second value, depend, uh, according to the loop. So for when it is first, it goes to first is second it goes to second and when it is third it goes to third array and it is going to show the charts accordingly now more I'm defining the options here 
width and height you can do that inside the loop as well also uh, now we need to find a container and we are going to bind this to the dynamic divs that we are appending to pychartid in the dom so that we can see our charts so document dot get elements by id and we need to get the id of this particular draw charts because it's going to append here now i'm going to pass it here and with the r because it's going to have it needs to be unique so we need to pass r as well now append child inside a document dot create element and it's going to be a div now here I'm defining the pie chart so uh, you can define if any other chart you want to print we need to pass container so that it can bind it with the Google pie chart now we say chart dot draw and we need to pass two variables which is data and options so it's going to be used here and once we have it here uh, we need to pass here the packages and it's going to be uh, core chart so you can read more about packages in the Google website now uh, I forgot to close the div here I need to close it otherwise it will give the error so div everything looks fine now and instead of topping and slices we make it realistic names so it is going to be we have days and incomes so I say here days and here income so everything good it should be working yeah you can see that uh, charts are working we have the data coming properly each chart has unique data you can see that 23.9 percent and here it is 14 percent here 20 percent so it's changing and it is working according to the arrays so now it is happening uh, based on the length of array it is not like it's going to print only three what we can do we can add another one so i add another array here to demonstrate that we can how we can add it another chart in this so it's going to be week four so if you have coming data from the database you uh, if you even if you have 10 uh, charts you can print them so here i just change the data to, to see the difference i need to pass this week four and weeks data array now if we refresh the page we should be having the another chart because the loop is going to add it so we have it here you can see that we have 19.5 percent on this one 120 on sunday 120 on friday that i just changed in the week four array now if we inspect this you can even check that draw chart zero which is coming from here draw chart r which R is going to zero, so draw shot zero, draw shots one, draw shots two and three. So it is dynamically adding it on refresh of page.